Hello, Joe and Aid. Welcome to your uh, bacon blog. I thought I'd, I'd um, record the steps of the bacon I'm going to make for you guys. So I've got um, a piece of pork belly here. We're going to start the process of turning it into this, which is some bacon I've uh, made earlier. Uh, that's smoked. In fact, that's a little bit old now. It's, it's been um, it's been hanging up throughout this very hot period, and it's got a little bit. <laughs> a little bit hard uh but it uh, one thing about curing it properly it means it never goes off so um it only gets harder and harder so uh that, that's one of the one of the keys of getting curing right is you stop this pork which will probably spoil in you know a couple of days time if you left it out of the fridge in this heat um to to something that never goes off and uh traditionally would have been used by our ancestors to to feed themselves through the winter but first things first um this piece of thick end of pork belly has some ribs in it which we need to get rid of and I can cut them off and uh, use that for um, making some um, pork ribs. Okay, that's the ribs off, that go in the freezer for another day and this will be uh, what we're going to cure. So, we now need to uh, mix up our cure and uh, that will be the next stage. Okay, in order to prevent this meat from spoiling, um, the enzymes that uh, attack meat and uh, decompose it require moisture and uh, heat. Um, and um, the salting process obviously um, takes the moisture out of the meat sufficiently to, to stop that process. Um, if we added 3% of uh, the, the, uh, the weight of this meat um, salt to it, then effectively that's enough to cure it. Uh, anything more than 3% and it starts getting very too uh, too salty to taste and to be nice and pleasant. Anything less than 3% and um, there could still be, um, you know, maggots and that kind of stuff can still get into it. So, and it can still start um, um, decomposing. So it's a sort of magic 3%. So we simply just need to weigh it and then I'll work out how much salt I need for this particular piece of meat. Oh, the salt I'm using is pure dried vacuum salt. I bought this pack couple of years ago now 12 and a half kilograms worth of salt and, it, and I've been uh, working my way through it it's a uh, PDV salt and it's um, specifically designed for curing I think the idea is that each grain is quite um, very, very um, uniform in size so that it flows uh, into the meat very well and uh, but I think you could probably use table salt um, to begin with certainly if you wanted to give it a go yourself Okay, that works out about uh, 46 grams worth of salt, equal amount of sugar, and then the classic bacon cure uh, flavours are juniper and uh, bay, but of course you can always change them around, add some spices, nutmeg, um, that sort of thing, <laughs> uh, different herbs, you can use uh, thyme or um, rosemary, uh, but I'm going to keep it classic on this one. Um, so the only thing that matters to the curing process is the salt. The rest of these are flavours. We add the sugar to make the salt uh, less stringent so it becomes less salty to eat. Uh, and then they're, they're just for normal flavours. So um, let me make up my cure now. One thing I forgot to mention, black pepper. Um, for this amount of cure, probably a tablespoon, three or four grams worth uh, going in. I've crushed the um, juniper berries with the fat of the knife just to get some of the flavour out. Give that a good mix and that's our cure. Okay, next step, a uh, food safe plastic container with uh, a lid that's big enough to fit your meat in. Put a layer of cure at the bottom. Next, it's just sprinkling the cure onto the meat. Okay, and that's all our cure put in. I've um, rubbed the sides down as well. Now, there are two ways of making bacon. You can make loads of cure and um, you just don't measure it you, in terms of the weights of the meat and then you just keep rubbing the cure in every day for seven days and you tip away the moisture. I'm doing this another way, which is you, you um, measure precisely uh, the, the, uh, the amount of cure needed. So um, I won't be applying any more cure to this meat, but I also will just let this now um cure in the uh fridge for uh it's three days per 500 grams so uh, nine days this will now go into the fridge okay uh this is after about three days i'm just going to flip it over um so 
there's an even coating all around. I'll do it every uh, three or four days. Uh, and then it would be finished in its cure. So it's a bit of a mixture of a, of a dry cure followed by a brine. Uh, but by the end of the process we should have bacon. I'll, um, I'll do another video once um, this is process is finished because then we'll have a, a hanging time which obviously won't record very often. But, uh, uh, and then I shall smoke it in my cold smoker and after that uh, I'll uh, get in touch so we can um, do an exchange. Cheers and bye.